Hi there, my name is Moella, and in this tutorial, I want to continue talking about custom list view. In previous session, we talked about making a simple custom list view. Now, I want to add lazy loading to previous custom list view. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial, please find the link in the description below. Let's look at the result that we want to make in this tutorial. This is a simple list. When I scroll down and up, the items are being added slowly and by a kind of animation. Okay, let's make it. This is my previous code. Let's run it in debug mode. As you see, this is very fast. But what about if I increase this number to something, for example, 700? Let's run it again. As you see, it's not that fast and it's very laggy and slow. And now I can see my list. Actually, the problem is here. It wants to load 700 layouts while creating the activity. Actually, we are creating 700 layouts already and then we are start scrolling down, but it's not necessary. This is what we want to do, to create items which are visible in the screen and we emit the other items. So as we scroll up and down, the items are being created at the top and at the bottom and we remove the others. Let's learn how to do it. Let me go back to 30. We need one number for each item. So let's have our button here. Dim B as button equal to p dot get view. And the index for that button is zero. as that is the first item which is added to item layout. Let's check it. This is the first one. Okay. Now let's change the text of each button. B.text equal to I. Let's run the application. As you see, each item has a number now. As I told you before, we only want to work with those items which are visible on the screen. We need one event to do it. Let's add it to the activity. Let's go to main layout. I right click on custom list view and add visible range event to the activity. Okay, it's here. Let's stop the application. This is the first item on the screen and this is the last item on the screen. To understand them better, let's log them. And we need a little space here. Okay, let's run the application. As I'm scrolling down, you can see the number of first item and last item here. As you see, this is number four and that the last one is number 13 
and you see the number here. And now number five and number 14. Maybe a little part of number 14 is here. Now I want to tell my program to load only layout from number five to number 14. So we need a for loop statement here to load the layout. For i equal to first index to last index. And now we can load the layout. Let's stop the application. Now I need to have access to the panel of each item. So I define a new panel equal to corresponding panel in the custom list view. So custom list view dot get panel like this. Now I can load my layout. P dot load layout item layout and I can get rid of this code here. Let's run the application again. As you see, this is a little laggy and it seems that the items are being added a couple of times. Do you know the reason? For example, number 15, once it's there and here and here. So it's being added in all those events. We can solve this problem by checking the layout. If items are added previously, we don't need to add it again. But how to check it? Let's stop the application. And here we want to check if P number of views equal to zero, then, then load the layout. Otherwise, we don't need to load layout. Let's see the result. Okay, now this is good. What about those numbers that we had here? I can store it in the tag of my panel here. Let's do it. Now we can use this code there. Okay, the text of the button can be equal to p tag. Okay, let's try our application again. Okay, very good. Now let's increase this number to 700 to see if it is still very fast or not. Let's run the application again. Okay, very good and very fast. But still there is a problem. Let me explain it. When I go down, the items are being created, as you see. What about when I go up? The items are already there. And even I loaded the items here, but now I'm creating them. So can you imagine what happens when I have some pictures here and my user loads, for example, a couple of hundred images, all those images will be on temporary memory and that's not good. So we need to remove all those items which are out of the screen. I will explain how to do it in another clip. Please 
Don't forget to subscribe and follow my other tutorials.